Many people are vegetarian because of how they treat animals, but still eat dairy since no animals are killed. How are cows that produce milk treated? Tragically, the cows that produce most of the milk in our dairy industry today are treated like four-legged milk pumps. And it's, it's pretty painful even to think about it. I live in the state of California where we have had a, a massive ad campaign from the California Dairy Council uh, talking about how uh, good milk comes from happy cows and happy cows come from California, showing pictures of cows grazing in huge fields with slogans like, so much grass, so little time. And under a uh, lawsuit investigation, it was concluded that those pictures plastered on billboards across the United States were actually taken in New Zealand. There actually isn't a whole lot of cows grazing on grass in the dairy industry in California. Most of our dairy comes from cows in the Central Valley where it's fairly dry and many of these cows never see a blade of grass in their entire lives. They live on, on uh, you know, barren ground and their babies are taken from them at a day of, within a day of birth. So the cows are left crying for their little ones. They're milked by machines in this mechanistic situation and they're, they're treated like machines. And as a human being of conscience who wants to contribute to a more compassionate and healthy world, I don't want to support that with my dollars and I don't want to take that into my body. Most of our milk is coming from cows that are pumped full of recombinant bovine growth hormone, which causes their udders to expand dramatically. Many of them cannot walk properly because their udders are literally so big they're dragging to the ground. They get udder infections, mastitis, all sorts of problems. And uh, this is because we're trying to get as much milk as possible out of them for as little possible money as possible. And uh, the cows are not treated like living sentient creatures. They're treated like commodities. I think they are living and sentient creatures, and I personally am allergic to dairy, so it's kind of a non-issue for me. But if I was going to consume dairy, I wouldn't want to consume any that came from that situation. Grass-fed, pasture-raised all the way is pretty critically important. And even then, you've still got an ethical dilemma with veal because the cows are having babies. That's how they make milk is because they keep having babies. They are mammals, after all, and the babies are taken away from them so that we can consume their milk. And then those babies are often turned into veal if they're boys or dairy cows if they're girls. And the veal industry is not something I want to support either, but it's intimately connected with the dairy industry. Isn't it natural for an animal to provide milk? What's wrong with us getting it from animals? It's totally natural for animals, mammals, to provide milk. And I think that uh, the, the mother-baby bond is precious and sacred and amazing, and milk is nature's most perfect food. Cow milk is nature's most perfect food for a baby calf that has four stomachs and will double its birth weight in 47 days and, um, you know, that likes to eat grass when it gets older. Unfortunately, we're a little bit different constitutionally. Cow milk is quite different from human milk, nutritionally speaking. And we are the only species in the world that drinks the milk of another mammal or that drinks any milk after infancy. So, uh, yes, it's something of a norm in the modern world, but it's definitely an acquired habit. And from an evolutionary perspective, no, our, our bodies didn't design drinking the milk of cows. This is a very relatively modern construction. Now, obviously, there are a lot of things that are modern that we get used to, and that doesn't inherently make something bad. But to say that for some kind of evolutionary reason, this is how we're designed to be is kind of ridiculous. Is it true that only pregnant cows provide milk? Only recently pregnant cows provide milk. Those cows that have had babies in the last while. <laughs> Obviously, some cows are pregnant and nursing because that's how the industry pushes them. But for the most part, no, pregnant cows don't provide milk. But recently pregnant cows do. Yes, they have to have had babies recently because that's what the milk was designed for by Mother Nature.